Hey guys, this is Ponce on the PVE, here to let you guys know about the Manly Duo buff update, which is coming your way pretty soon. Uh, Jarvan and Brom, of course, is what I'm referring to. Uh, Jarvan, his E, Demacian Standard, that has been buffed. That thing right there. Um, as you guys can see through the magic of editing or whatever, there's some numbers above you there. Um, so you can follow along. But uh, Jarvan's uh, attack speed buff used to be 10%, 13%, 16%, 19%, 22%, depending on rank. That's gone up to 15, 17.5, 20, 22.5. 25% of max rank. So you can see, based on the way it scales, uh, at level at rank 1, that's actually a pretty massive buff. It's gone from 10% to 15%, so a 5% increase right there. But by the time it scales up, it goes down to a 3% increase, which is still pretty significant when you think about the fact that um, that buff there is doubled for Jarvan. See, like, uh, you see there's a passive thing there. So Jarvan at rank 1 gains 15% passively from the flag. Then you plunk it down, and you get another 15%. So in total, he's getting actually a 10% buff at rank 1, um, and by the time it's max scale out, it is 6%, but interesting little thing there. Um, and of course, to compensate to uh, contain the manliness in the world, Braum did need to take a small hit here. Uh, his Q, the damage, has been decreased, as you can see up there, uh, by basically 10% per rank. You know, 70, 150, 160, 205, 250, down to 60, 105, 150, 195, 240. Uh, oh, and of course, Jarvan's uh, steed has been nerfed, as pictured right here. Hecarim, uh, his base stats have been uh, lowered. Base AD gone down to 61.3, <clears throat> down to uh, 58. And the ram Rampage, his Q, that damage, like the base damage, that's been lowered as well. Um, so much like Braum, uh, it appears to be down by 10 per level, which is a bit more significant given how fast... Um, Hecarim spams Q, so it used to be 60, 95, 130, 165, 200, down to 50, 85, 120, 155, and 190. Um, now, in terms of why this all happened, uh, I kind of find it curious that they're that they're just sort of plucking away at, um, uh, at sort of not necessarily plucking away, but sort of doing a, a number of weird little changes. Uh, with Jarvan last it was they buffed his shield and now his Damascian standard thing so I don't know if they're like really trying to encourage people to play Jarvan more so in the jungle and uh, help his clear speed and sort of move him more towards kind of almost a, a very utility like not really utility but utility light tank so a tankish initiator who also kind of um, can deal some damage but also bring some utility to the team um, instead of just, like, people playing him like me, where they go pure damage and assassinate people. Um, I know Jarvan's actually, his clear speed, I think he was initially intended as a jungler, but I can't remember. This is so long ago. He is, I think he's a, a late season one champion. Um, but uh, traditionally, he's always been played in the jungle anyway, uh, more often than than top at any rate. And um, so maybe they're trying to help him in that regard, simply because... You know, without strengthening his lane power too much, because his clear does actually kind of suck. I was curious, and I tested it out earlier. And on the PB, at least, oh, actually, never mind, because I have smite. All right, never mind. Mystery solved. Let's not get into talk about that. Uh, so yeah, there you have that. Um, now Braum, I don't know why they lowered his damage to I ten. That just seems kind of arbitrary. I don't know what's going on there. There's probably a reason. Well, I mean, there has to be a reason, even if it doesn't make sense. Um, I think it's well, most things aren't truly random. Uh, so yeah, Braum, probably, again, just to compensate the fact that <laughs> Jarvan was buffed, I don't know. Uh, and of course, Hecarim, as we talked earlier, uh, Jarvan Steed, he was, uh, he, he was nerfed probably as a result of, um, the change. If I were to guess, Hecarim's always been pretty good, um, but he's sort of been indirectly buffed, if I were to guess, by, um, uh, the Trinity Force changes, and, uh, also they, they buffed uh, Ghost, which... I mean, I take ghosts, but I know all he not necessarily all Hecarims do. Uh, for example, Sick Motion, who I'd consider like the authority on uh, solo queue, uh, you know, lane Hecarim. Maybe even Jung, I don't know, but I see him in lane anyway. Uh, he takes, what is it, uh, Teleport Ignite, and he certainly knows what he's doing, so it's not like, you know, every Hecarim takes uh, ghost. So in any case, that's, uh, that's what we have going there. Um, buffs and nerfs. Just the ones I thought was interesting. There, there are a number, of course, you know, other than that on the PBE. But uh, you know, I make the ones uh, that I uh, videos about ones that I either find interesting or uh, have something to say about, or you know, are just kind of relevant, to, very important to the game. So uh, yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'm off to eat chocolate croissant thing. Oh, and.
Drink coffee. What an interesting sequence of events. Right after uploading my man and horse nerf slash buff video, none other than man versus game himself starts doing YouTube. Uh, like literally right after I uploaded version one of this video, so instantly I'm remaking this just so I could tack this thing on the end here. Uh, man versus game uploads a, a video to YouTube, which he hasn't done in, I don't know, decades or something. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know who man versus game is, he's a, um, I don't know why you wouldn't, but he's a guy over on uh, twitch.tv. Favorite streamer over there. This is not just me saying this, you know, don't exaggerate the point. I just really enjoy his programming. And again, it's really saying all, given there's a lot of people who I really enjoy over there, and I'm sure they don't mind losing out to Man vs. Game because he's an incredible entertainer and uh, just a, a very kind gentleman in general. Like over on Twitch, I'm like a no one. Um, you know, we have a little bit of following here thanks to you guys over uh, here on YouTube. But, you know, on Twitch, no one knows who I am. But, you know, he comes over to a no one like me and even hosts my stream. So um, I was hoping that I could maybe uh, encourage you guys to go over and check his video since he's just starting it. Uh, it's the least I can do, I suppose. Uh, and that guy, aside from the fact that, again, he just puts on a quality show all the time. And I really think you'll enjoy it. You'll find it in the description below uh, above my, uh, my, you know, Twitch, whatever, you know, advertising stuff. Just, uh, yeah, check it out. Uh, hopefully, it's a kind of a you know a thing to come. Uh, you know, we're going to see more of him on YouTube in the future, especially for you guys. You know, who can't you know always make it to Twitch because of you know live programming scheduling, whatever. Uh, I know YouTube's a convenient uh, sort of source of entertainment for a lot of you guys. So uh, yeah, Man vs. Game again. Description below contains the thing. Hopefully, he doesn't mind me using his logo here briefly, um, but. Yeah, that's really all there is. Uh, again, I actually just remade the video. And as you can see, probably from the thumbnail, um, th th it's also version 2. You can see me cross out the original title and just, like, stick the, uh, the new man thing up there. But anyway, um, yeah, just uh, hope you guys head over there and, uh, you know, maybe show him a fraction of the kindness that uh, he he's shown me in my channel in the past. So see you guys around. Thanks for watching.